Right, so let's uh, let's go for some of this greenery. There are a few different ways to do um, greenery like here. <laughs> Pete would have to change his name again. Pete the Caffeinator, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do for this, I think, is I've got this uh, dry brush paint, which is Niblet Green. Again, it's a Games Workshop paint. Um, this is quite a bright green. So you do have to be careful with this. If what you want to do is just dry brush on, there is also a dry brush paint that I can recommend for that. But I'm not sure I have it with me because I didn't think that. Oh, yes, here it is. Here it is. So you can actually use Nurgling Green, which is a much kind of lighter green. Um, it's kind of almost like a off-white to green, whereas the Nurgling Green, you can see, is a much, much stronger green. So what I'm going to do for these is I'm going to use Nurgling, no, this is the wrong one, Niblet Green first. I'm going to use the bright green uh, first of all, and then I'm going to use some of the Nurgling Green over the top to kind of tone it down a little bit so that I have those bright green undertones. But then I'm also going to use some wash over all of that to bring it back together and mute it down a little bit. You'll see what I mean, hopefully, when I uh, put some of this Niblet Green on, um, because it will be quite vibrant, as I say. But not to worry, because it's the first stage of a few to get this where we want to. As I say, honestly, just just a dry brush of Nurgling Green is not a bad way to do something like this. It doesn't look bad, but I think you can get a bit more depth of color and a bit more um, like dynamic uh, look by using a few different greens. So we're going to put this on here and you can kind of see, uh, no, it's, it's a little difficult. The, uh, the camera settings are still not perfect after I was showing the plain silver stuff before, but you can see there it's quite, quite green. Um, it's actually, to be honest, the the colors that I've got underneath now because they're dark they hold up quite well even with this strong green on there but I am still going to uh, put some other greens on so this is kind of I think like mold and moss and things like that so we can go in quite heavily with this and the, the beauty of it as well is that you don't have to be super super careful to only get the areas which are sculpted because a little bit of greenery kind of around the sides. If you if you think about, I don't know, uh, I don't know how well ordered your garden or whatever might be your closest um, concrete with plants around it. But if you get like moss or something, there's often a little bit of green kind of seepage or darker underneath where that would be anyway. So we don't have to we don't have to be super super careful to only dry brush the exact bits which are uh, um, which are sculpted. It, it, you know, you want to definitely use them as a baseline, and I'm not suggesting that you go crazy around there, but you can uh, you can be a little more free and easy with your dry brushing than you can in some things, because it, um, you know, it's not the end of the world if you get a bit of extra greenery around. And there you go. Um, Pete the Hydrate is just super hydrated with a very cold shower, and I'm still boiling. It is a warm one today. Um, uh, my uh, my phone informed me that it's due to get to 26 here today. Um, but when I'm streaming, I have to have the, the door closed because my wife is working. So, you know, I don't want to disturb her with all of my <laughs> nonsense that I'm chatting. So it does get quite warm, I have to say. Um, and I'm streaming again a little later. Now seems like a good time to uh, mention. Um, if you are interested in Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance or you're just interested in seeing friends kind of gaming together and having fun, um, do come on back at 4 o'clock today when I will be playing Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance. I'm playing with Bellurian and Geek Curio again, um, which I think will be, um, yeah, uh, a lot of fun. I, I, <laughs> I think our, our verdict on the game last time round was... Basically, the game's not that great, but it is good fun to play with friends. Um, it does have its flaws, definitely. Um, but, yeah, it was it was good fun time, and so we'll be doing that again. I imagine, I assume, Andy will also be um, streaming on his YouTube channel. So if you're feeling very uh, bold, you can actually see the perspective of both of us playing and mute one of the streams. Uh Preferably don't mute my Twitch stream, actually, because then it doesn't count as a view, but, you know, we won't go there. Um, we're all in it together, so it's all good fun. Um, yeah, and you can see us playing and 
Yeah, just chilling out and having a laugh. That'll be 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. today. Um, yeah. So, there we go. Just about finished all the green patches now. Uh, and you can see, even just with this first dry brushing, it gives it a bit more life. Yeah, you can send abuse on both uh, both streams. Um, if you're lucky, you might be able to get people double hydrating if you uh, send hydrates on both. Um, so yeah, we've got that. But as I say, what I what I will do is add a little bit of the Nurgling green over the top, uh, just to kind of balance out some of those greens, and then give it a wash. There are a few different washes that you can choose. I'm just going to go straight into the Nurgling green. I'm going to live dangerously and use the same dry brush and just go for it because um, it's all kind of on the same area and it's the same general color palette so we're all good um, but as I say this will kind of tone down a little bit uh, there's a few different greens you can use I mean you can use a green wash from any any of the manufacturers of paint really um, I tend to do washes from Games Workshop I've mentioned before I, I most of my kind of technical stuff dry uh, you know washes, um, bits and pieces, come from Games Workshop because they're the ones that I'm used to most, that I've used longest. Um, so uh, Games Workshop do two green washes, which I sometimes use for this kind of thing. One is Athonian Camo Shade, um, and that that kind of brings everything darker. As you can probably imagine from Camo Shade, it kind of brings everything to a deep, earthy tone, which can work really well for this kind of thing. So if you want these as kind of really background colors, use some uh, Athonian Camo Shade. To, to darken everything down quite a lot. Um, if you want to make it quite bright, you can use Beal Tan Green from Games Workshop, which is a much more of a kind of vibrant green um, wash. The third option, uh, which I've done in the past where I want something to be really, really bright, is you can use a Hex Wraith Flame. Now, that is a technical paint, which is, it kind of is intended to give the idea of that kind of like evil green energy. Um, and um, so it really does make it quite vibrant, but particularly if you're looking for like magic greenery or, you know, just giving the impression of somewhere that's really vibrant, using a bit of that can really kind of up the, up the coloration really nicely. Um, so let's have a look at how this is doing now. Um, I'll catch up on chat. <laughs> you can, <laughs> double hydrates would be beat the water border. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, not too wrong to be fair. Although if I did it with a caffeine one, it could be uh, Pete the caffeine border, uh, the coffee border, which is a, a little bit of a different thing. Pete says, yeah, yeah double. I'm going to run one on laptop and one on phone. Good times, good times. I like it. Oh, and a stretch. That sounds good. Oh, I've been hunched over for a while now. I'll have another sip of my coffee. And Pete redeemed a hydrate. I'm going to go for coffee this time, Pete. Very nice, very nice. Right, so let's have a closer look at this uh, piece here. And you can see, let's get it up nice and close. You can see the different colors of green that have gone there. So by putting the darker green underneath and the lighter green over the top, it really gives it that feel, or I think it gives it that feel of kind of depth. So as you get close, uh, further into the center of the plant, it's gonna have less kind of light shining on it. So it gives it that idea of shadow as much as anything else. But as I say, I am then going to put some wash on here. Let's let's do that very quickly because we have time. It won't dry during the stream. But I tell you what, shall I shall I practice what I preach? Shall I give you a bit of hex wraith flame? And we can see what that looks like. What's the worst that can happen, eh? <laughs> so this is what I go for for the really, really bright green stuff. Um so it needs a good mix. I have hex wraith flame. Um, we were talking about, was it Hex Wraith Flame and, oh, you're going to have to remind me what the one that was used on Necrons the other day was and uh, the differences between them. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, no, I was, just gonna, I was just having a look to see if I could find a mini that I've used this on, but I can't see one around me, but we'll, uh, we'll do this and get this on here. So I'm not going to use loads because even though I'm going for something quite bright, I don't want it to be completely ridiculous. But you can see, so this is the one that I've used it on. It just kind of gives it a little bit more brightness. Tesseract Glow, that's a good uh, good memory. Um, you can see it, it gives it a little more um, brightness, but it also gives it a bit more depth to the uh, darker colors as well. So, yeah, that's... Um, I could actually, if I'm 
if I've got them here, I'll tell you what I'll do really, really quickly. I've only got two minutes left, but I'll get at least one of the other washes, which I should have here, and do them on other patches, and you can hopefully see a little bit of the difference. The camera is not um, doing me too many favours at this point, but oh, yeah, look at that. Here we go. So this is Athonian Camo Shade. So if nothing else, you can see the difference in the colours in the pot. Um, so this is a third year. This is the one that I said really darkens everything down and gives things really earthy tones. So by doing that on here, it would kind of really blend it back in um, and make it much less prominent. The Beal Tan Green is kind of like a mid mid level, really. Um, it's what I use to um, when I'm doing trying to do something bright green. This kind of darkens things down, but it keeps that vibrancy, which I really like. So let's do a quick bit of a Thonian camo shade. Do, do, do. It doesn't actually matter on this that if they're slightly different colors, but so this is kind of like a almost like halfway between a green and a brown, I guess. And again, I'm going to go slightly more around the edges of the green. So this is the hex wraith flame, and this is the Athonian camo shade. And then we'll do a bit of Beal Tan green. I don't have Tesseract glow, otherwise I would do some Tesseract glow as well. But I can't, so I won't. But we did establish yesterday, Might and Answer Games has an, uh, a good video exploring the differences between Tesseract Glow and Hex Wraith Flame. So do check that out if you're interested. But the, So this is the Beal Tang Green, which we'll put on. And you can see as it's going on, it's much more of a green, like a, a true green. It's almost got a bit of blue to it as it goes on there. Um, and I've just got it all over the stone. So it's a good job I was saying it doesn't have to be uh, too accurate to this uh, but it's it's much more of a like a bluey green as opposed to this which is a brownie green and that which to be honest in that small area you can't see too much of a difference but is a bit more uh, kind of glowy and shiny so those are, are two good options I like being able to do a bit of a variety it kind of suggests that not all of the types of moss and greenery here are all exactly the same like type but yeah it's, uh, I think it's looking good with that variety. I hope you've uh, found that interesting and helpful. Um, I'm going to... Oh, something's got stuck on here. That's not what we want. Um, yeah, so I think that's looking pretty cool. And I'm going to finish that. Oh, it's one minute past three. Oh, I'm overrunning. I do apologise, everybody. Oh, run, run, run. Tesseract will be too bright for this effect. It's like a Necron Green Glow for Evans. There you go. Fair enough. So, yes, I mean... Honestly, you can kind of see the difference here. So it's less obvious on the miniature, but uh, this is the Hex Wraith Flame. So that's quite bright green. This is the brighter green I was saying. Even that, you can see there's quite a big difference with this. I'm being careful not to just tip them out everywhere, but there is quite a big difference. Um, really brings out the detail and makes it look awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, so I shall finish the rest of them off off stream because it's just basically doing what I've done on here. But... Once I've added some wash in, this this is basically finished now and, and usable for the tabletop. So I'm pleased with how that's gone. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with me.